Hi there. Welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome. So happy you could join us today. I am so excited about this series of videos. It's um, three to begin with. It is a whole bunch of empties, but not full-size products for the most part. It's mostly samples. This is the second video we're going to cover cleansers, exfoliators, and hair uh, samples, hair product samples today. The last one was mostly makeup and perfume. So without waiting, I'm going to get right into it. If you are new, welcome. If uh, you have, are coming back, welcome back. And uh, let's dive right in. First one is was a set of Ole Henriksen Truth on the Go travel set. And that was a bunch of brighten and cleanse wipes. I like them. I, I got them for a very reasonable price as a as kind of a deluxe sample type of a situation. Would I repurchase? No, but I do um, really like the Ole Henriksen brand based on that and a few other samples and that made me want to try their cleanser so I have uh, purchased that cleanser. Another one when we're talking about uh, cleansers I would suggest is the Vasanti there we go, Vasanti uh, Brighten Up Cleanser. It had quite a bit of grittiness to exfoliate the skin and when I really wanted to get that good scrub this is the one that I was going for so I quite like that one. Um, speaking of another face polish this is another Ole Henriksen uh, brand that I'm going through, just a small uh, tube of it that kind of came as a set. And again, I really quite like this one. But um, I don't mind these two different scrubs, and um, so it would really have to do with what's, uh, what's available and what I'm in the mood for. Uh, I would repurchase both of those. When it comes to exfoliating cleansers, there's uh, the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 uh, Exfoliating Cleanser. I, I did not mind uh, this one, so I would reuse for sure. And I also did not mind the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta. It's called Extra Strength Daily Peel, and it was a two-step. It was one exfoliate and smooth, and then the, the anti-aging neutralizer. And so I had a few of these samples that I used and uh, quite liked it, and I almost actually bought a box of, I think it was 20 of these and just it never made it out of my shopping cart but obviously it left an impression so I quite like those. When it comes to other cleansers I have a couple more samples to share with you. One of them is the Vichy Pureté Thermale. It's the a gel cleanser. Um, I think it's super gentle, no exfoliator in there and I thought that on a day where I didn't want to be uh, too tough on my skin that this was a, a nice cleanser to use. Um, it is for sensitive skin, that doesn't surprise me, but would I repurchase? Probably not. It was fine, but I wouldn't repurchase. And then there was the Bioderma, also again for sensitive skin. Um, this one it was a, a foaming gel, and um, this, this one from Vichy did, did not really foam, but this one uh, did foam. And I thought it was fine. It was kind of neat that it was, um, there was no fragrance to it, so it was, it was pretty mild. Moving on from cleansers now to uh, toners, I tried two different samples. I'll go with the Clinique first. It's a clarifying lotion, twice a day exfoliator. I don't know that I would use it twice a day. I was using it once, that was fine. I think I used it one day twice and I thought, well, why, why am I doing this? It just didn't seem right to me. Um, would I repurchase? No, I have another sample of this though, so I'll be using that first and, and we'll see from there. So it's a, another deluxe sample that I have. Um, the one that I uh, was pretty impressed with though was the Pixie uh, toner. And because of my experience with this Pixie uh, Glow Tonic, 5% glycolic acid, uh, I did end up purchasing not one, but two of the large size. So obviously I've been using this and I intend to use it for quite some time given I have two bottles. I did also buy the toner from 
The Ordinary. I have yet to try that one, but I did not get a sample, and that's going to wait until I'm done with my first bottle of the, the Pixie. So that's it for toners. One interesting thing that I had a couple of samples of is this Olay um, Thermal Pedicure. So kind of like a, 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 a scrub that heats up when you apply it to the skin, and it was, I don't know if it really did anything. It came in this little squeezy tube, um, I don't know if it did anything. It, there were about um, three or four, at least three or four applications in the tube, but it felt so good to the point where I was even <laughs> telling my husband, come over here, try this, try this. So um, I would recommend it if you're in for something different, but I don't think that I would add it to my usual um, skincare routine. Moving on to hair products. The first one I have to share here was a, a pretty big tube sample of this Macadamia Professional. I'm pretty sure I got this from in an, a bag of stuff from Ulta. And this is the Ultra Rich Moisture Cleansing Conditioner. Mm. Smelt good, felt good on the hair, didn't feel like it did anything. So I would not purchase that particular um, uh, product. The next one is the uh, BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I used these and uh, they were fine, but I'm not crazy about them. What I'm more crazy about is the uh, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil product, period. That's really good stuff and I've gotten my hands on as many samples as I possibly can. I happen to have up up there with my hair care products, I happen to have a sample half open open there, these little tubes. Um, the shampoo, nah, but the, um, the actual oil itself, big thumbs up. The next product I have here is the Amica Nourishing Mask. Compared to other masks that I've tried uh, so far, um, Meh. I would not purchase this. This one, however, I hate the name, but I like the product, is Mistress by uh, IGK. It really left my hair in such a good state that I would definitely consider purchasing. Um, one that left me a little bit cold because I hear so much good stuff about it, is the Briogeo Repair Shampoo. It... I, di I didn't get what the hype was all about. I have a deluxe sample coming in of the, um, the leave-in mask that I'm looking forward to trying, but uh, the Repair Shampoo, I wasn't, in I wasn't impressed. One that I was impressed about, though, was the Nour Nourishing Hair Perfector by um, Caviar, the anti-aging um, nourishing hair, hair perfecter. Love it. I have been saving it. I actually ended up using it. Here's an open, an open sample. I ended up using the um, shampoo. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, the shampoo, uh, conditioner, and this today, and I really, and I really, really quite, quite liked it. So I. Um, that's probably one hair set of hair products that I'm probably going to buy when I'm just um, going to watch for a sale once my no buy is done at the end of August of this year. Uh, going on to my last set of products from the same company, I have a couple of shampoos and conditioners from Living Proof. I am fine with this brand as far as what it does to my hair. I don't know if my scalp was just irritated for some reason when I used these, but I just seem to have an itchy scalp and that, that itchy scalp is gone now. So I really don't know. I don't know if it has to do with these products or there was something going on with, with my scalp. I do have a few more of these samples that I'm taking with me when I, we go on a, a trip later this month, but um, for now, I'm on the fence about these. And similarly, because I was using them at the same time as the shampoo, is these guys. The 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, um, and also the, this is the, again, the PhD line, and then this one is the uh, TBD 
multitasking styler. So I've used both of these. Um, I thought they did a fine job as far as getting my hair prepped for um, blow drying and whatnot. I would again put them in the same category because I'm not sure if they also irritated my scalp. So I have some more, like I said, of those samples and I will be testing them out while we are on vacation. So um, that is it as far as what I had to show you when it comes to cleansers and shampoos and, and hair products, I guess, in total. I hope you found this um, walk down memory lane for me with these samples useful in some way. If you did, please give it, give this video, I can't speak, <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And if you like this kind of video, um, you might enjoy part three, where I'm going to go over all of the skincare samples that I've gone through. Skincare and yeah, skincare is um, the creams and serums that I have used uh, as samples over the last number of months. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and hope to see you in the next video. Take care.